a steering meet here at Leatherneck Garage and custom with my Wednesday hump day update. Right here is my next project I'm working on. eBay find. Picked up the, it's a 68 uh, Roadrunner body. Picked up on eBay for I think about four bucks, I think it was. Right, well, what am I gonna do with this? So, I dug out one of the NASCAR kits. I started building, I'm still working on this, I may use that yet. But I started building a scratch build frame for it, which I still may use, I don't know. But this is working out pretty good here. I've already cut down. Well, a little over an eighth of an inch in height of the roll cage here, and I chopped down at least the same amount on the uh, dashboard here. Cut that down so it'll fit inside of the uh, Roadrunner body. Because the race chassis is a Ford. I know you Mopar guys are just cringing right now, but hey, this is going to be a, a 70s era stock car, is what I'm doing here. As you can see, wheel opening, front end might have to lengthen just a little bit, I'm going to see, but. I'm starting at getting the back end fixed first once I get that all set up and it's how it needs to be then I'll start working on the front but that's where we're sitting at with this right now I've got a I got a 426 I believe it is uh, from uh, BNL resins coming uh, motor to put in here and I've got the rear end I got the uh, all right let's do a little uh, brain fart here again uh, I forget the name on the tires uh, performance something performance plastics it was called for the dirt track tires and the wide five truck axle rear end front tires are going to get uh, I'm going to cut the wheel wells out as you can see or it's going to have a heck of a ground clearance but uh, they all fit in there pretty good without doing much adjustment to the back that's why I'm starting at the rear and working my way forward Actually wouldn't look too bad jacked up as a hot rod like like they did in the old days with the back end raised up and the tires sticking out like that. But we're still going to do a 70s era stock car on this one. So that's what's new on the bench. Like I said in my 57 Chevy or 57 Del Rio video there, I upgraded my... Uh, bench system here a little bit hopefully it'll keep it a little bit neater and got my styrene syndicate sticker I got with my airbrush oh speaking of seeing we're doing that ah here is my whoops wrong one wrong one that's my $25 El Cheapo from uh, eBay I got my adapter, haven't had a chance to use it left, but here it is. It's the Badger Patriot 105. Let's see if it'll focus in on there a little bit. There we go. Uh, appears to be a real nice airbrush. Uh, I can see what uh, Gil talks about when you pull off the cap protector you want to leave that on all the time 
because that needle sticks out right there and it sure wouldn't take much bumping to uh, destroy the needle. I gotta go on Badger's website and see what the color code is on the needle because it doesn't say in the instructions. I'm guessing it might be a medium. There was two numbers in the instructions for needles when I looked up the numbers. One showed up as a medium but it doesn't tell you what the color coding is on the needle tips but it's a it's nice weighted it seems to be a nice balanced nice balanced it feels good in my hand you know so we'll find out when we paint this because I'm going to use that airbrush on when I'm painting while I'm painting the painting this one when I get around to doing the roll cage so this is long enough uh, Hope everybody has the rest of the week is good and safe and simplify. We'll catch you next time.